Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on Poisson probability distribution. In this video, we'll be looking at the formula, the properties, and solved examples on Poisson probability distribution. First, the introductory part of the video. When the number of trials is relatively large and the probability of success is comparatively small, the most appropriate approach to such random experiment is Poisson probability distribution. The Poisson probability distribution formula is given as probability of x equal to lambda to the power of x e raised to the power lambda over x factorial where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Lambda is NP, where N is the total population, and P is the probability of success. And E, which is the Euler's constant, is equal to 2.718. So next we look at the properties of Poisson probability distribution. If we denote the mean and standard deviation of the Poisson distribution as mu and sigma respectively, then the mean which is mu is equal to lambda, the standard deviation which is sigma is square root of lambda, and variance which is sigma squared is equal to lambda. So from here, we go ahead to solve some examples. Example 1. Three in every 1,000 H mobile phones are discovered to have fault. Find the probability that out of 5,000 H mobile phones, exactly 8 will have fault. Um, here we bring in the formula for Poisson probability distribution. And then we will find our lambda and uh, what our x is. So here, before we go ahead, we need to find the probability of success here. The probability of success is 3 over 1000. And that will give us a 0 0.003. And the n, which is the total number of h mobile phones is 5000 then from here our lambda will be np which is 5000 times 0 0.003 and that gives 15 so our x here since we are looking for the probability of exactly 8 will have 4 so we have our x to be 8 so that probability of x is equal to 8 will be lambda raised to power x which is 15 raised to power 8 times e raised to power lambda that will give us 2.718 to the power of negative 15 over 8 factorial so we have 8 factorial there so simplifying this we have it as 0 0.01947 to four significant figures which represent the probability that out of 5000 h mobile phones exactly eight will have fault so we go to example two example two the probability that a person reacts to the newly manufactured vaccine against the current pandemic is 0 0.002 if 4000 people are treated with the vaccine find the probability that a no one will react to the vaccine b exactly one person will react to the vaccine c exactly two people will react to the vaccine d at least three people will react to the vaccine and e at most two people will react to the vaccine so first and foremost we bring out the parameters um the total population which is 4000 and the probability of 
success is 0.002 now what we have is our p here is 0.002 n is 4000 therefore lambda will be np which is 4000 times 0.002 which gives 8 the value of x here will depend on the number of people that will react to the vaccine for the a part of the problem there are no one will react to the vaccine which means x is equal to zero so substituting our lambda which is h raised to power zero times 2.718 to the power of negative eight over zero factorial and uh, simplifying this we have the probability that no one will react to the vaccine to be 0 0.0003357 and for b part of the problem the probability that exactly one will react which means x is equal to one therefore substituting into the formula we have h raised to the power 1 times 2.718 to the power of negative 8 over 1 factorial and from simplification we have 0 0.002686 which represents the probability that exactly one person will react to the vaccine and we go to c part of the problem to the c part of the problem exactly two people will react to the vaccine which means x is equal to two so that probability of x is equal to two will be eight to the power of two times 2.718 to the power of negative eight over two factorial so that simplifying this we have the probability as 0.01074 we go to d for d at least three people will react to the vaccine the least number of people that will react to the vaccine is three so which means three four five six up till four thousand people will react to the vaccine so in this case it is not possible for us to do if x is equal to 3, x is equal to 4, x is equal to 5, up till x is equal to 4,000. So what we do here is we look at what is not in the circle of the number of people that will react to the vaccine. If you look at it now, none will react. 1, 2, and three and so on so what we do is since the total probability we sum up to give us a one we just say the probability that x is greater than or equal to three will be one minus the probability of the once before three which is probability that x is equal to zero plus probability that x is equal to one plus probability that x is equal to 2. This is how we are going to approach this uh, problem since we cannot go for the larger subset of the probability. So what we do here is we already have uh, the probability that x is equal to 0 which is in example 2a. So we have 0 0.003357 and for x is equal to 1 is 0 0.002686. This is what we are going, we are going to have them here so that we have it as 0 0.003357 plus 0 0.002686 and the one of x is equal to 2 gives 0 0.01074. So simplifying this, we have it as 0 0.9832344 as the probability that at least three people will react to the vaccine. Then we go to 
2e at most two people will react to the vaccine that is the highest number of people out of the 4000 will be two meaning none will react only one will react and exactly two will react to the vaccine which is probability of x less than or equal to two for x less than or equal to two we'll be looking at probability of x is equal to zero probability of x is equal to one and probability of x is equal to two so we find their probabilities and add them together so we have already gotten the value of x is equal to zero in a x is equal to one in b and x is equal to two in c so we bring them in which is 0 0.0003357 plus 0 0.002686 plus 0 0.01074 and that gives 0 0.01376173 which represents the probability that at most two people will react to the vaccine and that is the end of solution to example two this is the highest we are going to take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it like and share this video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get more videos on probability and probability distribution until we come your way again goodbye